All right, guys, so today we're going to teach you very quickly how to build a web crawler and scraper using the water gem in Ruby. Um, we're going to create an auto follow bot that logs into Instagram, navigates to the username and password, injects um, our information so that we can log in, clicks the login button, goes to a user's page, follows them, waits a few seconds, and unfollows them. So it's going to be very basic, but I'm going to try to get you up and running as quickly as possible. Um, you want to you want to install the the water gem, which is right here. I'll link that below. But basically, it's, it's a framework for Selenium, and it uses the Chrome driver. Everyone has a hard time downloading this. I'm not sure why it's always a pain, but it is always a pain. So I want you to download using Homebrew if you can. So it's going to be brew install Selenium, and then um, you're going to want to do gem install water but it's water with an i let me type it in here so that's the gem we're going to be using um there's gonna be more advanced versions of this where i keep building off of it i'm gonna actually build a more advanced one of just this program that we build uh, a little bit more advanced using three other libraries and just making it a little bit cleaner uh, and nicer looking but for now i'm going to keep it just as basic as possible so this is the only gem we're going to be uh required to use today let me clear this um so the other thing I'm going to do is because I have all my credentials in a local file, I'm going to require rel yeah, did not spell that right. Relative uh, credentials, and I have them saved as global variables. So the variables we'll be using here is going to be if I can type, which I can't because it's really hard to type and talk. Actually, it's a lot harder than you think. Um, cause normally in a normal day when I'm uh, working, I'm not talking and typing. Like I might be on a meeting for a minute, but it's not like I'm, you know, I'm trying to like rush through something anyways. So username is, uh, for me, it's because it's a global variable in another file. It's dollar sign username, dollar sign password for you. Just put strings in there with your information. Uh, like if I was using my username, I could just do, uh, like that. So let's get rid of that. So we have our username, we have our password. Ooh. What else do we need? We want to pick the user that we're going to spam. <laughs> and we'll go with Justin Bieber here for that. Um, okay, so the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is what? It's gonna be open the browser. If I can type, browser, uh, navigate, To login page yeah let's just do that for now so browser equals water uh, oh, browser dot new and we're going to be using Chrome for this in the next version I'll show you how to use an incognito window as well but for now um, yeah we're gonna be using Chrome so you will also need a Chrome driver which I believe you get when you download selenium um, otherwise just you can Google search or I'll link below but it should be, it's pretty easy to download um, <clears throat> and then we're gonna want to now take the browser that we've just created and go to yep go to well let me just copy and paste this but it's instagram.com slash accounts slash login and we don't even actually need all of this we can just literally do that and yeah so we're good there now we want to navigate to the username and password pa okay so yeah navigate to uh, username and password fields inject our info inject info let's just say that uh, puts logging in so we can see what's happening in the console easier so how this is gonna work so when you're using water um, it basically parses everything on the page but you can you pull it um, individually so like a text field uh, you actually pull by saying text underscore field so it'd be browser dot uh, text underscore field or if it was a button we'd say dot button or um, dot label or whatever and you, you'll see all that in the docs but uh, and we're gonna do 
it by name. So like if I come here to this username, I click inspect, you can see right here it says name equals username. So that's the attribute. You can basically uh, you can basically um, go by any attribute that, that's there, but this is gonna be the best one in this case because nothing else is gonna be called username probably. So um, username all underscore, and we're gonna say set to our username. And that should be it. Yep, that looks right. Okay, so actually we can just copy and paste this whole thing and just change the second one, the line 15 to password and password. Yep, so the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is click login button. So like I said, we can also use button as your field. Let's go with class for this one because I've already looked this up and I know that it's the best way to do it. So if I inspect the login button, you can see down here it has these four different classes. Now I know, and, and you can do it, I can do it by text field or text input or whatever or name. I forget, I forget what the exact field is, but where like I can literally search by the button's name, which is login um, but we're not going to do that we're going to use the classes here so you can you you can like search and try and figure out which exact class it is but one not only does it make it make the program less quick but um, it makes it more vulnerable to bugs because if something else happens to use that same class in this case it's a small it's just a login page so it probably won't but um, it's best to just use all four classes because it means that when it's parsing for everything, it's only going to parse um, everything that has those four classes, which probably is going to be just that item. It might be a couple more in other situations, but here is probably just that one item, and it's going to be the fastest way to get this done. And we're going to say click, and that's it. So I'm going to say I'm going to come down here a little bit, and I'm going to sleep the program for 360 seconds. That gives us five minutes if we want to take it. Once the program is going, I'm going to run the program now and see if I haven't made any mistakes while talking and typing. And it looks like it's working. So as you can see, it's navigating to, to Instagram. It entered my, and I did make a mistake. <laughs> All right, so that's browser, not Bowser. Uh, let's try that again. So it navigates to Instagram, it inputs my username into the username field, it inputs my password into the password field, and then it clicks login. And then we're logged in. All right, so we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and to quit from the terminal, you can just hit Control C, or if you exit out of that browser, um, that works as well. The reason water is so good and the reason why opening an actual browser is better um, in some cases than an HTTP client is because there is firewalls to prevent HTTP clients from scraping the source of a page uh, on websites and opening in a browser surpasses that because it can't tell that you're not an actual just browser being uh, using the using their server. Um, okay, since we're going to be doing something else and it has to log into the page first and that that seemed to just take a second when we did that. I'm gonna sleep for two seconds right here. And then next we're gonna to wanna to navigate to the actual users page. So let's say nav navigate to users page. And we're gonna just do another go to, so browser dot, I can't type browser today, dot go to, um, let's see. No, it'll just be inst it'll just be Instagram Instagram.com slash user. I have this page pulled up here. Yeah, Instagram.com slash user uh, and then another forward slash. Cool, 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 cool. We're doing good, doing good. <laughs> so right now that should take us to his page. Then, as you can see, there's a follow button on here. So if I click inspect there, we can pull the classes. I already have them pulled, um, just to just to make it easier. But it's gonna it's these it's these four right here. I'll copy and paste those. 
So now we're going to want to, um, let's say as, a, as our note, if not following, because we're going to get more into this in a minute. If not following, then follow. As we create that capitalization there, I'm very anal about my comments. And we're just going to say browser dot button. I'm going to go by class. This is embarrassing. Nobody's gonna respect me after this video. <laughs> All right. Um, if I can finish typing, we'll get this program done in just a second. Uh, so we're gonna click. So it's gonna click follow. Um, and just to just to get through this quicker, so I don't have to keep showing you each step. Like I can assure you that that's what that's gonna do. I, and I'll and I'll do more now and just debug it later. So if not following, then follow. Else. Oh, sorry. That's a comment. Else. Um, unfollow. So what we're going to do here is basically do the same thing. It's a different set of classes. Oh. I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to pull those new classes from my notes that I have and boom. So the only difference is actually the second class here, which is the actual identifier. But like I told you, using all four, uh, gets things done a little bit faster. So we're gonna say, um, here we're just gonna say, puts uh, following uh, user. And we'll just copy and paste that down here, except we'll change it to unfollowing. This way we can keep track of it in the terminal. And we'll also add a sleep uh, for three seconds so we can see what's going on and then we want to add logic to make sure that in case um, basically we make make sure in case like say we're already following Justin Bieber which obviously I'm not but if I was I, I wouldn't want the program to time out because it can't find the, the follow button this class right here and uh, have my program break so we want to add um, we want to add a little logic here. Let's say if browser dot oh, why can't I type browser today? Dot button. It's kind of funny, but this is um, when I'm tired. This is actually how I type. Like this isn't just like like it's not usually this bad because I'm talking, but um, it can be this way sometimes. So we're gonna actually use these same uh, classes right here because we're checking to see if they exist. Uh, and we'll do exist question mark. We'll indent these and we'll say end. All right, that looks good. I don't see anything wrong offhand. Let's copy and paste this down here under, uh, yeah, let's do it under the sleep. Let's indent these. Let's pull uh, these classes from down here for the unfollow button and place them up here. So we'll check if that exists. And we'll end, and then this should be the end of a program. So I'll bring the sleep up a little bit closer. I'll save it. Let me clear my terminal. And yes, okay, so let me run this. If I haven't created any bugs, it should just log in, go to Justin Bieber's page, follow him, wait three seconds, and then unfollow him. All right, we went to this page. As you can see, I wasn't following. It was blue a second ago. Now it's white. Three seconds. Unfollow. Everything shows up here in um, the term in the terminal. Logging in, following Justin Bieber, unfollowing Justin Bieber. So that that's that by itself is enough. I'm gonna stop this program. That by itself is enough to show you how to crawl a page, how to click around, how to navigate through things, and just the basics of um, pulling information and injecting information. Um, if you read the docs, this should give you a pretty clear understanding of how to make it more advanced and just playing with it. Um, in the next few videos, I'll show you how to create an auto like button or auto like feature. And um, yeah, we'll make this one more advanced. We'll add also auto liking. And um, yeah, cool. All right, guys. Later.